Hello guys and welcome to a new UDK tutorial. Today I will show you how to make a reload system. So I will show you how to animate the stuff and how to do the groundwork for the scripting. The scripting isn't shown in this video. It will be shown in another video from my friend. So I will put the link into the description. So let's start. I have here a M4, yeah, a M4 I think. And then you have to go to, okay. Let's say the scale must be 1, 1, 1, location 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, would be perfect. And yeah, go to add, amateur, single bone. Now here at the object data tab, you have to choose stick. Now go to, into the edit mode and scale it up. Good. Now rotate it or this, rotate and place it to the weapon like this here um, yeah yeah okay now click shift d scale it down a little bit then rotate it another time and then place it down to the magazine to the mag let's yeah let's scale it down a little bit and like this here yeah, a little bit down. Okay, now go to the object mode. Now you have to you have to shift and right click to the weapon, and shift and right click to the amateur. Now click Control P and choose with automatic weights. Okay. Now go to amateur, click onto the plus, and click onto the mesh. Point zero zero one. Then go to the to the object data tab and select the bone. And go into the edit mode. Now ch click onto the select button, and you see it has selected the weapon. So in my case, it has selected the weapon, but in your case, it could look like that or like that. This is wrong. So we have to choose the weapon. So you can. You can choose this, you have to, to select, remove, then for example add some vertices with B and left mouse button and then assign. Now click A and then select another time and you see it has assigned me this vertices here. So click to remove and assign. Okay, now you have to do the same with the magazine. So this here and yeah. Now let's try it out. Go to pose mode, select the bone, and you see the mag is coming out. Okay, now we have to go to the animation tab. Animation. Now we have to click onto this record button and off to this keys and go to pose mode. Yeah. Now make one click onto the arrows, go to the middle, move it a little bit. Whoop. Okay, I've made it wrong. Select everything with A. One click onto the arrow. Move to the middle. Move it a little bit back. And move it a bit, little bit forward. So this is our weapon fire animation. Let's see. Yeah, it is. It is. Now go to the NLA editor and click onto this little button here. Okay, now we have our first animation. Now we have to select everything. So A. One click onto the arrow, go to the middle, just select the mag or the weapon to make a weapon animation. I will do a very simple weapon anima animation, but you can also do a very, yeah, very complex animation, but I will do a simple one. So I click rotate and rotate it up. Now go to the end and rotate it down like this. And now we have our weapon reload animation. And yeah, it has worked. Now go to the NIA editor and click onto this little button here. Okay, go to default view, select the amateur, go to file, export, autodesk, and save it. Now start up UDK. So this will take a while. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. Now click on to import and import your FBX file. Here you have to choose import animations, import rigid animation and import resample animations. Then choose a package name like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and OK to all. Yes. Now save it. Yes. Okay. Here is our weapon. Yeah. Now we double click onto the amateur. And you see, the mag is at the wrong position. To solve this problem, you have to go to AnimZ. And here, you have to deselect the anim rotation only. And you see, now it's at the right position. Okay, now let's try it out. Go to anim, choose one sequence. And you see, that's our reload sequence. And here's our fire. No, this is the wrong fire sequence. And and here's the fire sequence. Now you have to rename the reload animation sequence to reload animation or something else. I will write it into the comments what name you should choose. Yeah, that's the groundwork to the tutorial from my friend. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And the link to the other video is in the description. Yeah, bye.